All right, so how, remember how I said I was gonna go into the uh, the SS uh, Libra before? Yeah, I got this. Instead, I got this awesome email here. Let's take a look at our mailbox. No, that's my spot monitor. My mailbox. And Justin gave us a message saying, "Thanks for being so patient. The Prism is finally set to reopen after the Cipher takeover bid. We are all looking forward to the opportunity to battle any meteors. So, uh, screw the SS Libra. We're going out to battle. Yeah, let's do it, Woot." All right, so here we are in the pre gym. Let's go ahead and talk to Justy over here to get our battle started. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, you received my email on the SS Libra. The ship was out in the desert then. Anyway, like I wrote in my mail, we finally managed to reopen the pre gym. Meteors, I would really love to have a battle with you. Will you accept my challenge? Heck yeah, I will. At pre gym, four trainers and I await all challengers. First, you were required to take on the four trainers and knockout matches. You had to beat all four of them in a row. Great, let's do it. Let's get you up on the stage. So, it's like a junior lead four. I battle four trainers and I battle you. Awesome, sounds good. Looks like you're all set. Let's get started. Okay, let's bring our first trainer. It looks like it's the receptionist here. Let's see, what, let's see what she has to say. Let me be the first to entertain you. Well, it starts off pretty... It's a good place for training because it starts off at level 21 and it works its way up. So it's great for training your Pokemon. Great to get them up in levels. We're going to be facing a Lediba and a Spoink. So, yeah, not really too hard at first, especially since they're both level 21. We're like, what, level 26 right now at minimum? Yeah, I think, we're, I think we won. So pretty much just let's go ahead and I'll... I guess I'll Surf. I guess I will. Just Surf. And Death Row, you can air lace Lady Bunny and completely own its life, because, you know, that's what you do. DEATH! And, of course, super effective when it dies. A horrible, horrible death. Meanwhile, this Spoink's just bouncing. I'm trying to keep itself alive by bouncing, because that's what it has to do, because it's, you know, Spoink. And he says it, awesome. And I can easily kill out the thing with another Ice Beam or air lace, so I'm not really too afraid. Really, the first match is a Cinch and pretty much a freebie, although we respect at level 21. Won't really expect anything less, will you? Oh well, that's not really too big of a deal, but eh, whatever. Anyway, it's gonna side beam. Let's see what a side beams. Me, if I get a side beam, Dugong or Seal rather. No, but the attack Spiro at the crit. Still not all too powerful, so whatever. No confusion, no whatever, no big deal. I'm just gonna air release the Blossom again, because I'm pretty sure I could kill it. And Surf could just you know hit one opponent and do a lot of damage. Kill a Blossom, very nice. Looks like that Blossom wasn't very awesome after all. Huh, about that. Surf is gonna do its worst and see what it can do against if it, and it has, doesn't have its powering decreased. And attacks the point with massive damage, so very powerful. Side wave, once again, not really gonna do too much. Probably gonna attack Spiro again. Firo. And it does. And it takes down to 12 health. So kind of kind of scary, but I could take it out, no problem. I could I could I should have tried finishing it with false slime just for lulls, but. I don't know. I don't want to do that because I don't feel it. I'm not feeling it right now. But oh well. So pretty good experience, and I'm kind of low in health. You can in fact heal in these matches like you can normally eat Elite Four, except this is a pre gym, so you're not really actually battling anyone. You have a good feel for this. Keep it up over your next three opponents. Technically, next four opponents. Although I guess you could choose if you want to battle Jesse right away, but I'm gonna be battling Jesse right away anyway because I feel like it. Next up, we have this guy here. I'm your next opponent. Let's just see how good you are, I guess. T Teslor is his name. This is his name. Uh, Nikola Teslor, okay. I know it's Tesla, but whatever. Sunflora and Furret. Okay, just ALA the crap out of that. You know, Sunflora, I guess I'll I guess I'll heal Death Row for the heck of it. I'm pretty sure ALA's could kill Sunflora. I mean, it's Sunflora. What the crap's it gonna do? Um. Item, let's go ahead and heal a death throw with, uh, I need some more healing items, don't I? Yeah, I thought I, I thought I bought some. Or, ah, oh, crap, I didn't actually say that, did I? Darn it. Alright, I could have sworn I remember my, my, oh well. Okay, well, let's fight Aerial Ace on Sunfloor and see what happens. Super effective, and it does kill, of course, I was, I will expect no less. Very nice. He's just had a Light Noon next. So he has a Light Noon and a Furret. Both of which are like alternates. And they're going to spam double team throughout the entire rest of the match. In fact, I'm not even sure they even know how to attack. I've never seen it attack. I've just seen it constantly spam that move. Either way, 
Now, how I said before, aerial lacing doesn't really, really matter too much for accuracy. Yeah, well, I kind of lied. So, yeah. Do your works are going to help me to hand me just to increase my aerial lace, do as much damage as I can. And let's see what happens here. Aerial lace, how much damage will that do? To fur it. I believe I attacked. And that almost kills it. Almost. Aerial lace never fails. Oh, I guess it does something else. It also uses mud sport to, to lower my electric attacks. More double team spam! Spam the double team as much as you can! <laughs> I think we're gonna just ice beam the fur it. I'm pretty sure aerial lace can kill even without a even without a helping hand. Pretty sure. And it does in fact kill off the furret, so once again, not really too scary. In fact, do your worst is now level 27. Very nice. Do like that. I like that a lot. Death Row is not quite level 27 yet. See, th does Lightning do anything else besides double team? It double teamed for like what, three turns now? I mean, come on. Surely there's another move you could use besides that. Well, actually, wait, no. Lightning used Mudspore last turn. It was the other Pokemon who used it. whatever. All right, I'm gonna Ice Beam and then Aerial Lace. I got, I got this. I could have also just used Helping Hand for the Aerial Lace. I don't know why I didn't do that. Oh, I killed it anyway. All right, that works. That works quite well. Still not level 27, sad face, but all right. Two trainers down, three to go. I can take up an entire port by doing the, all these battles. But I'm probably not gonna do that. I'm probably gonna just, for the heck of it, actually go continue somewhat in the Yes this Libra later. But I just wanna show off the pre gen before we did anything else. With my furtive, ever shifting attacks, I shall claim victory! And before you don't, Super Trainer Nopal? Nopal? I guess it doesn't really matter, he's just a throwaway character anyway, who really cares? Kecleon, oh that's a, that's a beast right there. I believe I actually one-shot that thing last time, if I'm not mistaken. I don't quite recall. Either way, if I don't, I'm going to go for the Ice Beam on Kecleon and Aerial Lace, so it's going to be an instant KO, no matter what. I'll Aerial Lace, lower it, change its typing to Ice, and then it'll die from an Ice Beam. And that Kecleon's going to go down, no problem. Shazam! Oh, whoa, it didn't die. Okay, um, crap. I thought it would have. And the Azum Roll is just going to double team, spam. Just spam the double team. Spam everything! Kecleon's gonna spam too! Spam for everyone! Yay for spam! Alright, I'm just gonna switch out here. Pokemon, uh, let's switch out to Houndoom here. Actually, how about Frenzy? No, Frenzy doesn't have a hitting, always hitting attack. You know what, go Frenzy anyway. Whatever, screw that. And just air lace to Kecleon, just finish it off. Whatever. How many times can Thunder miss against the Zoom Roll? Let's find out! Ooh, was, I mean, Jolteon's pretty close to level 27, not too. That's always good. Always good. You'll see why we'll be a little bit underleveled for the next part if we didn't do this. In fact, if we didn't train here, we will be, in fact, this is the point where we start going... You know how sometimes we feel like you're overleveled in Pokemon at the beginning, but then as you get closer and closer to the end, you seem like you're completely underleveled? That's the point I'm reaching here. So I'm just trying to somewhat keep up as much as I can. Well, that's if you train evenly. If you have, like, two Pokemon you train out the entire game, you're not going to be underleveled at all. But since I'm, since I'm training all six, I'm going to be underleveled completely. So, either way, there's a, there's a trade-off. Let's just Thunder the Yanba, because it didn't have any evasion boost yet. Aerial Ace the Zoom roll, just because I can. Thunder! Thunder the Yanba and kill it! Die! And it faints. It goes down. Alright, Death Row's level 27 too. Happy about that. Alright, so that means only Houndoom and some other Pokemon's level 26 so far. Not quite dead. Alright, no problem. Do you have another Pokemon yet? No, just gonna spam the double team. Alright, no problem. You know what? I'm gonna switch out into Wispy Wood and Houndoom. Just switch out those two for that. Because honestly, I really don't think that Azumarill Roll is going to do anything besides double team the entire time anyway, so I'm not really afraid of it at all. In fact, I'm not expecting anything less than that. Watch, F five bucks is going to use another air double team. 
Just spam double team. Spam. Spam the move. Thank goodness for faint attack and aerial ace. My gosh, if I didn't have those moves, I'd be so annoyed by this point. Actually, no. Giga Drain. Giga Drain and faint attack. There we go. Wow, how did we some serious chain to level 27? I mean, seriously. I'll go. I guess it doesn't really matter too much at this point. It's going to be replaced very shortly. Well, not very shortly, but short enough. Oh, I didn't miss. Nice. Even after three double teams, I still didn't miss. Always good. A zoom roll fainted. Only 150 extremes. Oh, yeah, sorry. It's split it four ways instead of two. Whatever. They don't even say anything when they lose. They just, like, collapse and die or something. I don't know. They, they don't seem very happy about... $2,300. Oh, nice. I like... Wait, am I on round three or am I round four now? I think I'm buying the fourth trainer now, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, this, this is the fourth trainer here. That's right. I am, in fact, battling the fourth trainer right now. Watch closely. I'll treat you to elegant attacks that blend the power of Pokemon. Ooh, elderly. She has wi she's wise and has experience points. Okay. Plus ult and mine in. Do nothing but spam double team. I'm not even joking. I have yet to see him do anything else. I'm not even sure if they can do anything else. That's their only move on their team. I know, they sure like spamming that double team for some reason. Oh, well. Alright, let's switch out to Wispy Wood and Houndoom just because we can. Because I want to give him experience. I want to level him to level 27. And because Plus Miner is going to double team. And I want Faint Attack, etc. Whatever. Go, Wispy Wood. And Death Throw, get out of here. And it's an in Houndoom. Watch, double team. And any other one is going to double team too. Just watch. Just watch. They're, they're both going to double team. I know for a fact they are. Knew it. Called it right there. I'm not even sure if they can even attack. I mean, do they do anything else? Please tell me. I have yet to see them do anything else ever. I, I'm, not, I'm not even, like I said, I'm not even sure if they can. I'm, I'm not even sure if they do anything else. Do they, do they, can they shock wave? Can they use thunder shock? Can they T wave? Do they have helping hand? Do they have anything else other than double team? I don't. I really don't think they do. Double team again. Okay. Double team again. No. no I, I just think they're gonna spam double team throughout the entire match. Just, just restall. Stall all and troll. That, that, that's, that's all they do. That's literally all they do. And the plus one doesn't even die for even more epitome of troll. Great. Just great. Okay. Well, I'll giga drain this one. And I know faint attack's gonna kill plus all here. So let's just get that thing out of the way real quick. Get it out of the way real quick. I think it eventually gets to the point where they have to run out of double team and stop using them, right? I mean, I'm sure they'll stop using double team when they get to like 106 plus 6 evasion. And here comes Absol. You know what? Screw you, mine. And you can just keep double teaming away. Just do whatever it is that you do. I don't think you can really even kill me anyway. No, but you know I missed. What a surprise. All right. So I'm going to Brick Break the Absol and then Fire Blast the Absol as well, just to get the Absol out of the way. Just to absolutely kill it. Ha 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 ha. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that died. Horribly. Burn in fire and die. Alright. Level 27, Wispy Woods. Sweet. So that means the only Pokemon that's level 26 is the Pokemon I'm going to keep on my team anyway. Otherwise known as Houndoom. Yes, I'm officially... Okay. That's your last Pokemon now. You're, you're going to have to attack with it. And I break through the double team. That's always that's always good. That's always a happy day when you do that. All right, break, break, and uh, break, break. Why am I going for that? Giga Drain and Faint Attack. All right, you could do this, Sound Doom. You could do this. Doesn't quite kill. Is I gonna do something? Is I gonna do something? Nope. Nope, it's not. Yeah, I, I, I really don't know if they even go for anything else. If they're at plus six or whatever, or they keep trying to go for it. I really haven't figured it out yet. I never actually let it live long enough to do so. But, whatever. Yeah, this is, uh... I, I can see why this is a pre-gym, not an official gym yet. I mean, the, clearly these, these trainers you have in your gym don't know how to actually battle properly. I mean, I could see if it had some sort of recovery move and it was actually a stallish Pokemon, but no. Like, maybe if you had an Umbreon with double team, that would be incredibly annoying. But, as it stands, 
No. Ha ha ha, Dusty is next and he's very, very strong. All right. Do not underestimate Justy at all. He is seriously, he seriously is pretty strong. In fact, I'll show you that when I battle him. Great job, the hero Fennec gets it done. I don't see any blind spots in your battle style. I finally get the chance to face you. Shall we have our battle right away? You know what, Justy. I ain't afraid of you. Are you ready? Here we come. It's time to battle the ultimate challenge against the pre-gym leader, Justy. Let's do this. Let's have the battle of wits and death. He's going to lead off with Cacnea and Sand Slash. Not the best choices, but whatever. I'm going to leave my Fero in here, because Death Row could use some experience. And I'm just going to send in Hound Doom, because whatever. I know it's going to do something. Alright. So I'm going to use Aerial Ace and Sand Slash to Cacnea. Sand Slash to Cacnea. That, yeah, that makes sense. I'm going to Aerial Ace to Cacnea. I mean, if it survives that, it's not going to at all. I mean, what's Cacnea's defense? I think it's pretty low, like maybe 20, maybe 30. I don't know. I, I know it's I know it's down there, pretty pretty good. Gligar. Oh, I, sh I should have let him do Gong. Darn it. Oh well. No, you just you're just gonna double team. All right. Uh, so I sent in Houndoom. You know what? Just fi just fire a blast to Stand Slash or. Fire Blast of Gligar. There we go. He's special attacks. Is, um, whatever. Yeah, they're level 29, so they are pretty beast. In all honesty, they are very, very beast. Level 29. So, all right. Fire Blast. Come on. How much damage I'll do to Gligar? Surely I'll do a lot of damage. Surely. Critical hit. Oh my gosh. Overkill to the max. I love you, Houndoom. Freaking love you. Hopefully, your replacement will do just as good. His last Pokemon is a Nose Pass. If that is his last Pokemon, I'm not mistaken. I'm I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, you're st is your Sandslash going to use Earthquake or something? No, I can't use Earthquake because then you'll sacrifice your Nose Pass there. All right, well, you know what? Faint Attack. I'm going to Faint Attack the Sand Slash and then Eerily the Sand Slash just to make sure it dies a horrible death. Just to make sure of that. I don't think it will die after. Well, actually, I don't know. Faint Attack is special in this game. So, yeah, it, it did go down. Very nice. All right, so Sand Slash is down. See what happens. You keep. Why do you keep on double teaming when you clearly see I have moves that avoid that? And there you go again with the same stupid attack. Really, th does anyone in your pre gym know anything besides double team? You have to actually somehow make use of that move in some shape or form, but you haven't done that yet at all. In any way, shape, or form. Alright. Nope, you're just gonna double team a second time, or third time, or whatever it is that you've done. Alright, wow, I'm taking up a lot of time just doing these battles here. Wow, whatever. Not very effective. Faint attack again. That'll definitely kill it, pretty sure. There we go. So, yes. Hit moves that always hit, always useful for this part. So, yes, there we go. Not quite level 27 with Hound Doom yet, sad face, but whatever. I got less from you than from the third opponent. Come on. Just, you know, you don't know that. I knew it. You are tough. I'm not happy about losing, but I'm delayed about battling you. Ha ha ha. It's been five years since I lost like this. I'd like you to have these as something to remember our battle by. What does he give you? He gives you a Lumberry and TM32 for your troubles. Know what TM32 does? Yeah, okay, great. TM32 is double team. So if you completely want to spam a move like he did improperly, then go ahead, by all means, give a double team. In this case, not worth it. What do you have to say? Congratulations, it's amazing. You beat Justy. It's like a dream. I'm fi still finding it hard to believe. All right, well... All these people are super amazing that you somehow beat Justy, but if you spam double team and don't know what to do with it, well, it's a no fact that you lost. I'm at 20 minutes, I think. Wow, really? It took that long to do all those five battles? Well, I'm not surprised in all honesty. Maybe I should cut off the ship for later then. I don't know. I'm going to go heal my Pokemon. Be right back. They were down here. <sighs> Alright, well. Alright, so. 
the reason why I'm over here, I decided to search something else before I actually end this episode. Uh, I'm going to use this protein here. I'm going to use it on Death Row now, because, you know, it's actually, like, entirely based on attack. So it helps it out a bit. Now, I have black glasses here, so I'm waiting for Shifty to evolve and before I give it it. I have a charcoal here, which I'm waiting for my next Pokemon to give. I could give it to Houndoom now, but annoying me, I'm probably forgetting to take it off. And I don't want to deal with that. Um, but, uh, so I forgot to show off a couple other things. Like, look at my Pokemon now, for example. After I purified them, certain Pokemon are holding items when you purify them. Like, Death Row here, for example, is holding a Sharp Beak, which increases power 10% in this game of flying moves. It's 10% in this game, it didn't get 20% until 4th gen. Now, with this one here, Never Melt Ice, or that's, that's Mystic Water, never mind. Okay, it has Mystic Water, which actually increases 10%. Now, if you look over here, 10% of water moves. Now, if you look here, and I, in the Pokemon storage, I actually took these Pokemon out that are holding items. This, this Lunatone is holding a hard stone, so it increases rock moves. I don't need that. This Voltorb is holding a magnet, so I'm going to take that. Never Melt Ice is good for ice moves, so it increases that by 10%. And Twisted Spoon. I will give Twisted Spoon, actually, over to my, my um, ball toy. I'm going to give this to Jolteon. Let me just, hold on, let me get to the right option here. Item storage. Withdraw items. No, that's... Hold on a second. Pokemon storage. Alright, so apparently I had to actually go into my... I have to actually withdraw them to take the, to take the item from them. I can't take the item from them in the box for some stupid reason. Either way, let's give the magnet to Jolteon, of course. I mean, why not? So you get the magnet. Twisted Spoon. It can't be used... Give. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that's not automatically a command. Give that to Claymore. And the other Pokemon I'll just wait on for a second here. In the meantime, that should pretty much be it for an episode. Let's see here. Let me just... Free I could just redeposit the Pokemon back in the Shadow Chamber after that. But, uh... Or the Purification Chamber, rather. But pretty much that's going to conclude for this episode. And for next time, for real, we'll be going to the SS Libra. So see you guys... Then...